Congratulations. Shoutout goes to Ernie. This dude has won the shoutout giveaway. If you'd like to enter one of these giveaways where you can be shouted out, that's just pretty cool. Uh, link is in the description to my Discord server where I host these giveaways. And also a quick shout out to Spartan. He makes uh, Rainbow Six Siege videos and he's been growing pretty fast. So if you're interested in Rainbow Six Siege, you can go ahead and check out his channel. I will leave a link in the description to the video. I hope you enjoy. Hello everyone, this is Soundjart, and today we are in Card Life again. Uh, this is going to be the third episode, so if you have not watched the second or first episodes, you should probably go and do that, because uh, you'll have missed the greatest parts. Because <laughs> we've already done quite a lot. As you can see, we have um, a forge and a furnace, and we have made ourselves some new gear. So I've been able to get myself some iron and stuff like that in the last episode. And I even got myself a copper pickaxe, which is really cool. And as I've been gone from this game, they've actually added some new stuff. For example, they've added, like, an ion sword or something. I don't know. Uh, but I think it's pretty late game stuff, so I don't have to worry about that yet. So right now, our quest is to equip a compass. We need to make our compass first. If we go into the forge, we might be able to find a compass. Here it is. I can make one. It's two iron ingots and two wood. Easy peasy. I have to equip it here. There you go. I've equipped it. So now I can see which direction I am heading in. That's pretty useful. And we also got ourselves with four iron ingots. Wow. That's a profit of two ingots. That's great. So golems live underground. Yeah, we saw those in the last episode. We have to kill the golems. And they drop basic machine parts. So I guess we're going to have to go down there again uh, to the mine. Let me just clear my inventory a little bit, because it seems to be getting quite full. Alright, so let's head down. Hang on. Wait, I, I got some more iron. Maybe I can make something with it? Oh, I need way more. Okay, I need 11 in order to make stuff like that. So, anyway, we're gonna have to go ahead and get down there to kill some evil uh, golems. Okay, so here we are. We're down back in the mine. I think I heard a golem over here. Oh, hello. There's an imp and a goblin here. Oh, there's a golem. Okay, I don't know how strong they are. But we're gonna find out. Um, I might actually... Hang on. Okay, I have to heal up. Alright, we're back at max health now. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and strike this guy. There we go. Yay, we killed one. Oh yeah, nice. I got two ma basic machine parts. So they could be used to make machines. Oh, okay. And now we have to find gold. Oh. We need to craft an iron pickaxe. Oh my gosh. Well, we have to craft a gold mechanical drill. That's going to be That's going to be a bit difficult. Okay, so first we need to go ahead and get some some more iron. Um I'm going to kill this imp because uh why not? I did not come here down here to uh, mine, so I don't have any torches. I might need to go back up to get some more. One eternity later. All right, here we are. We're back down in the cave, and I got myself some more torches. Um, okay, so we have to find some iron. Here we are. We're in a dark place. I think there might be some iron here. Let's just kill this imp first. And there's also a goblin here that I can kill. Goblin has been extinguished. And is this iron? I think this is iron. And then once we craft ourselves some iron, we can go ahead and make an iron pickaxe. And then we can mine gold and make ourselves a gold mechanical drill. That that's gonna that's gonna be quite hard, I think. <laughs> I haven't found any gold and I'm pretty sure it's rare, so I'm not sure how we're gonna do that. Seems like a big increase in difficulty in the quests. Like, it went from pretty easy to Jesus, what the heck? But it looks like the veins are quite large in this game, so... You won't find, like, tiny bits of it. But if you find one piece, you'll find tons more. I think that's, that's how it works. And there's also quite a lot of caves. As you can see, I've just hit another cave there. But first I want to mine more iron. Oh gosh, I can see through the uh, through the wall. That's that's kind of weird. 
I can see through the ceiling. <laughs> okay, there's some more iron here. I think there's copper in that cave over there. There you go. We'll place a torch in the middle. There's plenty of stuff here. Oh, there's an elite imp there as well. Uh, let's see. There's a goblin there. Oh, some more crystals, eh? That's that's pretty good. Okay, so let's start mining this ore because I really need some more ore. <laughs> I want to upgrade my gear. I gotta move that gear up, you know what I mean? I think maybe the gold mechanical digger is like a shovel, but uh, it's it's mechanized, so it's automatic, and maybe it's much faster as well. And then the drill is for stone, like a pickaxe would be. I think that's how it works. I mean, it makes sense. Maybe the digger works with the drill to mine. I don't know. Like I said, I'll just wait till I get to that quest, and then that's it. Oh, there's there's quite a lot of monsters here. I think I should probably craft a crossbow because uh, there's a lot of stuck monsters, and if they're stuck, then I can just kill them from a distance. And I don't have to really worry about getting damaged. If I just check my armory, it's doing it's doing pretty well actually. My armor, it's not like it's not that bad. All right, we'll mine this. Gosh, I can mine this so fast because of this pickaxe. I love it. Oh boy, more amethyst. And then is this what is this? Topaz, citrine. Oh, okay, I don't have that yet. Topaz is also yellow, so it's pretty similar. Okay, we'll kill that imp. Because monsters are really normally stuck in this game. Because, I mean, it is new. Uh, I guess it makes it kind of easier. Like this. They they don't even hurt me. I keep hearing monsters, like, really loudly, like, walking everywhere. It, it makes me think that there's something behind me all the time. It's really weird. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> it's, it's so confusing. I think they should really change, like, the noise levels in this game. Because if I bump up the volume here and be a little bit quiet, I'll just let you hear it. See, so you can hear all the footsteps and stuff. It's it's really weird. If you're mining, like, in a long hallway, it makes you think there's, like, a monster behind you or something. <laughs> I mean, one plus side about hearing footsteps everywhere is that it kind of gives you an idea of where new caves might be. So if you listen to the sounds, you, you can kind of distinguish where new caves are. Like right here. Look at that. There's a massive new cave here. If if you couldn't hear it, you might not have been able to find that, right? But other than that, it's it's quite annoying. And I just used up my last torch. A good thing is you don't have to actually mine coal or anything in order to get torches. You can just uh chop down trees and they drop resin. And that resin can be used to create torches. Unlike Minecraft in which you have to actually mine the coal. I mean, coal, coal is very common, but you have to actually find it, mine it, and stuff like that. Alright, so what's this? This is a diamond. Oh, I found diamond. That's really cool. This diamond is usually, like, really rare. I don't know if it's as rare on this game. By the way, if you guys ever see me miss, like, an ore, if I'm just, like, walking around and talking, just comment it below and give, like, the timestamp of when you saw it. And then in the next episode, I'll be able to go back and find it. <laughs> Because, uh, I mean, I've seen YouTubers who do that a lot. Like, when I used to watch Minecraft videos, I don't anymore, but when I used to, uh, I saw people who always miss, like, diamonds or something. It's so annoying. <laughs> oh, God, I hate it. It's like, oh, my gosh, I'm trying to find diamonds. And then in the video, you can see them walk by some diamonds. And then you have to wait, like, another ten minutes until they can find some more. I mean, it's kind of annoying, both for the YouTuber and the viewer. I always read my comments, so that's a that's a plus side. Sapphire, Ooh, that's nice. And I think there is a golem over there. Oh, hey, look, it's it's bright suddenly. Huh? Why is that? Wait, am I near the surface? Huh? That's interesting. Look, if I jump, you can see it gets a lot brighter for some reason. It usually means that you're near the surface. If you look through that little patch there, I'll probably zoom in on the video, the finished video. If you look in that patch there, you can see all the trees and stuff. Wow, that's that's really strange. Alright, so it's this way, and then... Uh, where do we go from here? This way. Oh, hello, golem. 
Okay, we'll need to kill this imp. There you go. And then there's also a golem here. Do you think I can run past him? I think he's stuck, actually. Oh, so that means he won't damage me. Whoa! Whoa, 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 This is bad. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, Jesus, this is really bad. Um. Whoa, okay. Well, that just happened. <laughs> oh, I was so scared. I thought I would fall down into the void and, like, die or something. Oh, if I, if I fell down, I would probably lose all my items. Right then, I'll just ignore that. Like, what the heck, Gav? <laughs> oh, I got clipped into a block, and then I just started flying everywhere. <laughs> okay, we'll just, um get on as if nothing ever happened because uh that was very strange that was a very strange occurrence so anyway we got ourselves tons of uh ore i think we'll smelt the copper first hang on let me get out my wood yeah by the way i did craft a new chest because i was running out of room okay so let's smelt ourselves some copper let's see how much can i smell I'll just do as much as I can, because uh, I, re I need some more copper stuff. Right, so we need coarse leather strips to make a copper short sword. Or we could get a copper bow. Or a copper crossbow. Hmm. Let's take my fiber out, and then we can make both a crossbow as well as a short sword. So let's make the short sword first. There you go. So we have this, and now we can make a crossbow. And then we can also smelt some more copper in order to get ourselves bolts to fire it. So now we can go ahead and try to craft ourselves a iron pickaxe. So first we need to smelt the iron that we have. And then I need to get some more wood. For now I'll just smelt 11. <laughs> yeah, I can make one. That's cool. Uh, should we... Okay, let's make ourselves a, a special top on it. Okay, we've crafted a pickaxe. Let's just see what it looks like. I'll show you. <laughs> uh, it looks like it is broken. Uh, that's brilliant. Beautiful pickaxe. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna love this pickaxe. And we've also got ourselves a copper short sword. And a copper crossbow. Which is amazing. Like, let me just... I don't want to really waste shots, though, because it's going to take quite a while to craft all the copper bolts again. So I think that's it for this episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, I sure did. It was pretty fun. I managed to get glitch through the map. I don't know how it happened, but, you know, that's what happens when you're having fun. <laughs> Not really. I'm just a little bit concerned for that. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching the video. Stay tuned for more. Bye.